United 3, Derby 0. I suppose the story of the game before the match happened was Wayne Rooney. But the story after the match has finished is Ole Nogalo, who's now got three goals in his first two starts as a Manchester United striker. A fantastic poacher that we didn't have when Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial were our strikers. Igalo has added something different to this team. And United there tonight, we needed to go to Pride Park and do a job against a Derby team where we were the favourites. And we've done it. 3-0 there, another clean sheet, three goals. Luke Shaw getting it kicked off with a scrappy goal, let's be honest. But a goal nevertheless. And then Odi Igalo with two poachers finish inside the box. Igalo, man, people it looked at Igalo as a signing that was a bit desperate from United. And let's be honest, it was pretty desperate because we needed a striker. It was going towards a deadline day and it was a case of Igalo or nothing. And we got him in and people were like, what's he going to do? But Igalo, in his starts that he has had as a United striker, has shown something different to Anthony Martial and different to Marcus Rashford, who is, of course, injured at the moment. Igalo has come in and done a job, and not only done a job, but got a goal against Bruges, I think it was his first one, and two tonight. And he nearly got a hat-trick, he did miss that chance, but tonight was supposed to be all about Wayne Rooney. As I said, I think Igalo takes the headlines for what was a poacher's game. But Wayne Rooney, you know, is United's record goal scorer, and I've had, a, as, as a United fan, personally, I've had a a strange relationship with Rooney and United because the fallout with Fergie, I was all in Fergie's corner. I supported him the whole way through and because of that, I fell out of love with Rooney towards the end of his career. But there tonight at Pride Park, 5,000 United fans were cheering Rooney's name the whole way through that game. And fair play. And I think Rooney does deserve that. I think I've sort of lessened my stance on the Rooney and Fergie fallout and where I stand. I don't think any of us can fully understand what happened between Rooney and whether he really did try to angle for a move to City back in 2010 and whether he really did angle to leave United and handed in a transfer request in 2013. We can't know that. We can only go by what we've heard from Fergie, heard from Rooney and heard in the press. But tonight, Rooney got the reward that he deserved from the United fans. The United fans will never forget Rooney, our record goal scorer. You can't deny that. Five Premier League titles, won the Champions League with us as well, with Rooney and Ronaldo and Tevez, and he deserved that reception tonight. I had a bet on for Rooney to score and United to win, so Romero tipping that free kick over the bar towards the end. You bastard, Sergio. You robbed me of 90 quid. But United tonight, we needed to do a job against Derby. We needed to kick... I think that's nine games there unbeaten, six wins and three draws. You can't deny what's going on with United at the moment. Bruno Fernandes has come into this team and since then, whether it's a coincidence or not, United look far more like a complete unit of a team. Even when he takes certain players out, Harry Maguire not playing tonight, Eric Bayern and Lindelof look good together. Luke Shaw down on the left back. I mean, he had like three or four shots on target. He had a goal, could have had another one, got an assist for Igalo's first goal. Fair play, Luke Shaw. You know, I suppose he wants to play Derby every single week. But United tonight needed to do a job to get through to the next FA Cup round. Now we're facing Norwich away, and we've done the job. Igalo should steal the headlines. He got two goals, nearly got a hat-trick. It was all about Rooney before the kickoff, but at the end of the game, we're talking about Igalo instead. Fair play. Igalo got two. Rooney, he got the, the reception that he deserved from United fans. I don't think any United fan, I suppose, will ever forget Wayne Rooney for what he did for the club. But Igalo, if you can keep that up between now and the end of the season, let's see what goes on there. But United through to the next round of the FA Cup. Who was your man of the match? For me, you've got to give it to Igalo. You can't give it to anybody else. But let me know who your man of the match is in the comments. But Norwich, they're up next.